Um, my name is Joe Lucina, and I'm the studio art technical assistant at Grinnell College, and this is my uh, studio tour. What I'm showing you in this building are just kind of um, some cool uh, spaces that you know have a lot of a lot of uh, kind of like personal history. Um, this was my my uh, grandfather's wood shop, and he he set up a lot of the a lot of the gear and a lot of the equipment in here. Um, you can still kind of see like he's like. I've left a few of his uh, his little like comics and, and odds and ends on the wall. Um, he really liked like cutting out comics and framing them and having little like you know life lessons in the wood shop. I feel like it's you know it's, it's good. It's good for the good for the soul. Made for for furniture and stuff. Um, I'm kind of debating on like starting a, a side a side hustle where I make. Um, custom tables and custom waves, um, but uh, yeah, I'll get around to it. I can just kind of, like make posters and put them up around town, and then and then it'll just be a flood of like custom table requests, right? And then it'll it'll be and I'll just you know make tons of money. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like I don't have like a really interesting story. I, I have a kind of maybe atypical um, art story where it's like I was always the the art kid. Like I've, I've always been drawing and like um, and making things, and um, I kind of always knew that that that's what I was going what I was going to do. So always like yeah, I think like first. First memories, I, I like sort of had an idea that that was um, my path. Um, this is one of the spaces that I made. This is uh, the Cocktail Lounge 3. Um, it's gone through kind of three iterations. It's been in three different locations and it gets a little, a little better each time. Um, you can see I have some of those uh, geodesic um, foam structures on the ceiling to kind of diffuse the light and you get kind of a cathedral, um, I don't know, almost like stained glass effect on the, on the, on the walls. Green light, red light, uh, black light in the side. There's also a chip rack, you know, every bar has to have a chip rack. I feel like that's like, it's like important. A lot of times I, I like to sit, uh, set up situations where um, like there's a problem or like I know I'm likely to fail on what I'm trying to do. So with this, I was hoping that it would like, there you can see there's sandpaper attached to that, that it would slowly kind of like sand away the, the canvas. Um, but I kind of got it to this, to this point and now it's just kind of referencing that. It's not like, you know, in, like, functioning at a speed that would actually de degrade it in any, in any way and I feel like, I don't know, that was like, that was like enough and I wanted it to be kind of a, a quieter um, and slower kind of piece. I feel like with all of my, with all of my work and all of, all of the paintings and sculptures I kind of just keep churning um, uh, through them and keep reworking them until, until like I don't own them anymore. Like I think that's like, that's kind of how I how I work. That I'm not. Uh, they're not really finished until someone wants to buy them. 